My guess is you're watching this video because you have braces, you're getting braces, you might need braces, or you're my mom. Hi mom! Since I've had braces six times, I figured I'm qualified enough to give advice on braces. In this video, I'll be sharing some of my favorite and most valuable tips for living with braces. We'll cover picking your types of braces, advice on before you get your braces on, and advice for after you have your braces. My first piece of advice is go to an orthodontist that you feel comfortable with and you can trust. Chances are your dentist knows a few good ones, and it's even better if they know each other because then they can work together with your appointments. If you're looking for a great place in the Colorado Springs area, I highly suggest Bailey Orthodontics. My second piece of advice is don't lose your confidence. So your teeth are moving around and you're working on your smile. So what? Usually, if you don't make a big deal out of it, others won't either. Well, don't feed the trolls. Braces are nothing to be embarrassed about. I've had braces as a kid, ages 9, 12, and 17, and I've had braces as an adult, ages 21, 23, and 26, aka now. If you'd like to have more information about my braces journey, feel free to click on the video about I've had braces six times. It's true. Advice for choosing your braces. Most offices offer several different kinds of ways to straighten your teeth. Clear retainers like Invisalign, clear brackets, and traditional brackets. Or at least, those are the ones I know of. I've always had the regular brackets because they're the easiest to take care of and they're the sturdiest. I also feel that people stare less. They see I have braces, possibly ask about them, and move on. With clear brackets, I find that I tend to wonder if there's something on the person's teeth or Maybe they have braces. I personally found that the clear brackets tend to make your teeth look a little bit more yellowed, but it's definitely personal preference. I had a version of Invisalign between my third and fourth sets of braces, and it was okay, but it was just a little bit frustrating because my teeth moved so slowly. I'd rather get it over with quicker. Advice for your first appointment and other appointments. I always like to take a picture of myself before I get my braces on and then immediately after. Usually they're both in my car. It's just amazing to me how much braces can change the way you look, even after they're completely gone. Your smile will definitely change after you have braces, and your face might too. It's amazing how much our jaw affects the way our faces look. Eat before your appointments. Eat a ton. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely get hangry. And then put sore teeth on top of that? Nope. Nobody wants that. Since you've just eaten before your appointment, make sure that you brush and floss your teeth. Please, please brush and floss. Flossing and brushing is so important, especially before you get them on. Flossing isn't impossible after you have braces, but it's definitely a lot easier without the wire in the way. Be kind to your orthodontist and assistants. No one wants to see what you've had for lunch or breakfast or smell it for that matter. Just keep your teeth clean. Clean teeth are happy teeth, and I'm convinced that mine move and cooperate better when they're clean. If you're able to, and if you want to, take a pain reliever before your first appointment. Your teeth, mouth, and possibly your jaw might be a little bit sore after sitting in the chair with your mouth wide open for a few minutes. Especially when you're first getting your braces on, your teeth are moving a lot more than they ever have, and it just tends to be a little bit more sore. If you can and or want to avoid caffeine, sometimes that helps. This may not work for you, but I find that if I'm not all hopped up on tea or caffeine of any kind, I'm much more able to deal with the pain. Ah, apply chapstick before your first appointment and other appointments. Just because your lips are having to stretch a little bit more over your teeth and your braces, it's also a great idea to keep some chapstick with you because your lips are stretching over your brackets and it just takes a while for your body to adjust. After your first appointment and other appointments, Eat gentler foods. You probably won't want to eat anything that you really have to chew on because your teeth are moving around and it's a new feeling and they'll be pretty sore. I will give you that much information. It hurts. I'll give you that. Foods that I tend to go for are quick and filling, such as mac and cheese, protein shakes, smoothies, ice cream, soup, noodles, applesauce, yogurt, rice, jello, pudding, Anything you really don't have to chew. Cold drinks like milkshakes tend to help me feel better. Take small sips at first though, because I've noticed that brain freeze gets worse once you have all this metal in your mouth. 
If you find that your speech is affected by your new hardware and appliances, just practice talking. It'll get so much easier the more that you practice. You could even try singing or reading out loud. My tongue definitely had to have some adjustment time after I had two bars put in across the roof of my mouth, and I'm still getting used to having both of them out now, so I'm sorry that I keep tripping over my words. <laughs> You're more likely to have food stuck in your teeth and your brackets, that's just the nature of braces. So I suggest carrying a small hand mirror with you or you can use your camera on your phone if you have a camera phone. If you know that you're going to be out and about or traveling to school between classes, you can brush your teeth if you feel like you have all kinds of gunk stuck in there. There's even these little tiny brushes that are made to go in between the brackets. I think these are really nifty because you can just get in there and clean and you can get in spaces where you're not typically able to get your toothbrush. Some other helpful tools that I have found along my braces journey is threaded floss. It's basically just like regular floss, but it has a stiff end so you can slide it between your brackets and floss, just like you would normally do if you didn't have wires. If you want to, you can also just buy the threaders. And these are basically giant needles, but I promise they don't hurt. So it basically has a loop on one end and a stiff end on the other, and you'll take your floss, usually about 18 inches or so, I think it has directions on it, and you'll slide it through here and you can tie a knot if you want to just so it doesn't come off, and then floss as you normally would. Another flossing tool that I absolutely love are plackers. These nifty little dudes are a piece of floss on a handle, and they're designed to fit in between your wire and your teeth. Another piece of advice, don't be miserable. If you're still struggling and in pain, even after a couple days, just keep taking pain reliever if you're able to. My office suggested that I use warm salt water to swish to help with the tongue issues that I was having. And at first I thought, that sounds really odd, but then I tried it and it actually worked. So if you're struggling with your tongue being in pain from either an expander or TPA bars, I highly suggest salt water. Just swish it around like mouthwash and then spit it out. If the assistants offer you extra wax and rubber bands, take them. Wax is like snacks on an airplane. As soon as you say, oh, no thanks, I'm fine, I don't need any, you'll get back out to your car and you're like, oh, why didn't I take that? Wax can be very helpful when you're first getting used to braces. If you have one area that's rubbing in a certain spot on your cheek, put a little bit of wax over it and it will stop rubbing in that area and it will feel so much better. Sometimes after your teeth start moving, you'll get a little bit of extra at the back where your wires can start poking you. If you find that's an issue, just place a little bit of wax over it until you can get into your next appointment and let them know that it's poking you and they can trim it for you. Wax is most likely to stick on dry areas, which is kind of like a big joke. I mean, it's inside my mouth. How is it going to stick in there? So what I suggest is swallowing and then leave your mouth open for a little bit just to let some air flow in and then the wax will stick a lot better. I don't really suggest eating while you have wax in. Try and get most of it out. It won't hurt you, it just feels very odd. After you get your braces on, you're more likely to be producing more saliva than you used to. And I personally think it's because our bodies are trying to adjust and it's trying to think, okay, what is this for an object? Can I dissolve it with all this saliva that I'm producing? Or what is this? I don't understand. Don't worry, it goes away, I promise. Follow the directions your doctor gives. Wear your rubber bands when you should and how you should. If you've missed several days of wearing rubber bands, don't double up, please. You could overcorrect your bite or your teeth or whatever they're trying to correct for you, and then you could be in braces even longer than you thought you would. Stay away from gum unless your orthodontist approves it. Ask if you're allowed to chew gum and specifically ask what kind. Other foods that you should more than likely avoid are chips or crisps for you folks over the pond over there. These have the potential to get wedged in between your teeth, wires, and brackets, or if you have an appliance on the roof of your mouth, it can get stuck up there. And trust me, it is not a pleasant feeling. If it does get stuck up there, if you're being naughty, drink a whole bunch of water because that will help dissolve the food. Also avoid foods like caramels that are sticky and chewy, so like nalinlators or taffy of any kind. Those are big no-nos. Those could pull your brackets off of your teeth, and that is not very fun to have to replace those. Avoid popcorn with kernels, and also avoid corn on the cob. If you can't resist corn, then just scrape it off the cob. It's still really good, I promise. If you're having ribs, make sure you cut them off the bone because the bones could knock your brackets off too. Avoid raw carrots. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Just don't eat them raw. 
Also avoid crunchy fruit that you have to bite into. Your orthodontist should be able to give you a really good list of foods that you can and cannot have too. Usually if you can cut food into smaller bites, you should be okay. For example, corn on the cob, just scrape it off the cob like I said earlier, and apples, just slice them up and then you can eat as many apples as you want. Basically, you just don't wanna be biting into anything because that could knock the brackets off. Obviously, I've had several dental cleanings since I've had braces six times and it's a lot easier on them and on you if you can get your wires taken out before you go in for your cleaning. It's not impossible for them to clean your teeth, it's just so much easier. If you have issues with your braces, make sure to call in to... If you're having issues with your braces, make sure to call into your office before your next appointment, just to let them know in case they need to make extra time for your appointment. My last piece of advice for you is try not to get frustrated. I know it's frustrating and you feel like it's the end of the world when you first get them on, although I've known a couple people that think braces are really exciting. I was one of them in third grade. <laughs> I promise it won't take you six rounds of braces to get used to having your new orthodontic appliances. I want to give some special thanks to Dave for helping me brainstorm all of this advice for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or find me on other social media platforms. Thanks so much for watching. Best of luck on your braces journey. See you next time.